Good afternoon. It's Wednesday the 31st of March, back in the Reading Nook on what is a bright, uh, warm and sunny day uh, with a cup of tea. And um, another box to, well, unbox. This time it's not a parcel, um, but something I have uh, simply purchased. And that is this. Um, which is an All Adventures RPG starter set, uh, a spellbinding role-playing game for beginners. Um, okay, join intelligent cats and dogs on a spellbinding adventure. Created for beginners, this set is your gateway into the magical world of role-playing games. Inside is everything you need to play a thrilling RPG campaign with no experience needed. Explore exciting locations, face fearsome and fantastical beasts, and have fun. So, uh, what you've got in here, let's just show you on the back. Um, that's the contents uh, in terms of the supports. You've got the character sheets, uh, basically battle map area, gem shield, and basic background, basic rules and scenarios and so on. And then you've got these, the miniatures. You've got um, four dog miniatures, four cat miniatures. Uh, so a simple set includes simple to easy follow rules, four adorable miniature dog miniatures, three cute cat miniatures, seven character sheets, double-sided game map, uh, game master screen, set of illustrated tokens, set of dice. Uh, now, I like a good starter set. A good starter set um, basically has to introduce the game, tell you what the rules are, and give you something good to play. Um, and this comes, I mean, obviously straight off, nicely pointed, miniatures, they're fantastic. Um, uh, the, this is published by um, Steamforged Games, I think they're based in Manchester. Um, and they also do a range of um, essentially um, cat and dog adventure miniatures, which are perfect if you're playing something like um, Pugmire or um, uh, Monarchies of Mao. Um, both role playing games available from on, um, through um, by Onyx Path Publishing um, uh, and. Um, at, uh, and um, Essentially, they do anthropomorphic fantasy. Uh, the player characters as cats and dogs. Um, cats in pug, sorry, dogs in pub mire, Cats in monarchies of Mao. And it's a fantasy setting um, in which the characters, you know, um, the dog characters certainly in in um, uh, in, in pug mire, uh, live up to the conch idea, the ideals of, of be a good dog. Um, so I've reviewed that, and it, the, the, there's a review available on my on, on my blog, and I like it a lot. Um, okay, so um, opening up, we have just get the plastic off. Up. Uh, oh, there's an exclusive inside figure. So tells me it's exclusive. So uh, opening up, what we've got is that. So putting this out, we have uh, uh, look. Yeah. yeah, basically battle map. You've got uh, three locations there, I think, and then you turn over, and then you've got more. Brilliant. Uh, sorry, just got to listen to the um, somebody with an angle grinder there. Uh, nothing to do about that, and then. Below that, um, we have um, Rulebook and Adventure. Um, but, uh, and you've got an explanation of what a role playing game is, explains what the attributes are, and with a really nice illustrations. I do like this, it's essentially so, you know, strength is holding up a, base, a branch. Um, but, uh, dexterity is. Um, Count on a d20, count on a 20 sided die. Um, either that's a very small cat or it's a very big die. Um, constitution, um, and, uh, basically, dog chowing down to intelligence, uh, reading a book, and so on. Um, okay, how attributes are used, example of play. It's a, that's, that's a little bit brief for my taste, I like a little bit more to it. Um, and uh, this, I'm basically looking at what you've really got. This is, I can't see if there's anything in here. 
Um, this is yeah, it's it's an OGL game, open game license, so it's it's compatible more or less with Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition, and that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, very gets very quickly through the rules, uh, and uh, then you've got the, the adventure itself, the Curse of Doctor Frankenstein. Um, or is that Doctor uh, Curse, Curse of Doctor Frankenstein? Cran no, I think it's definitely Frankenstein. Um, basically, you've got a starter adventure, adventure synopsis, and then you enter scene one. Very quickly, you can read through this, get some idea of what you've got, and alongside what you've got, there is there are GM tips as well. Um, and the, each scene is showing you um, where it's set. Set up with which map to use. Through, um, at, uh, and there are well, basically um, okay. Uh, uh, scene through basically. I think there are two or three scenes in here, um, and I think the adventure itself will probably take you a session, a long session, or basically a good couple of sessions to complete. Um, and then you've got uh, enemy encyclopedia, uh, stats for the creatures. Okay, um, and then uh, there is uh, there's a complete list of all the miniatures currently available, checklist, and they've already checked off the ones you've already got here. That's nice. I quite like that. I mean, I'm not going to rush out and buy miniatures because I'm not, I'm, I, you know, I don't have space for them. Um, and then, uh, then you have the GM screen. Um, that's quite nice and simple. On the back, you've got combat monsters and spells. Uh, I mean, it's very specific to the. You can see it's very specific to the um, to the scenario because you've got the stats for the, the, those monsters there that appear in the scenario, uh, and then the spells and abilities of the player characters. But that's a nice touch. And below that, you have uh, counters. And the character sheets. Um, so, uh, a bit of background. Or stats down there, central abilities, armor class, initiative, hit points, um, equipment, um, and it makes an explanation of what the character does in the background, and special abilities. And essentially these I mean, these are stripped down versions of the Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition character sheet. Uh, so um, we have a Labrador fighter, um, Persian warlock, Sphinx, uh, Sphinx um, Sorcerer. Um, I think that's quite. A that's actually quite appropriate. I think it's basically nicely, it's a nice choice of um, fitting um, the species of animal to the class, uh, and so is this Bard um, Cavalier, uh, um, and basically Spaniel, um, um, Loikoi, um Rogue, um, uh, let's see. Boxer, uh, Paladin, and Shiba Inu, Cleric. So there's seven character sheets in there. Uh, and then below that, you've got quite a sturdy insert and, and uh, yeah, that's a little bit of. Doesn't want to open easily. Oh, it's taped. I'm not going to untape it. But I will show you all oh, the miniatures there. They're a little bit difficult to see, but um, you've got seven plus the set of dice. Um, overall, um, that's a nice little package. If I would say, I think what's missing, um, I always like to see one more adventure than is necessarily in a starter set. Um, you know, uh, let's have a look at, um, 
does it say next steps? Um, okay, uh, it doesn't give me any pointers as to where, where to go next that I can see, obviously. You know, like, or at least it should point to somewhere where I go, well, what's the next adventure I can play using this? Um, and in addition, there is a full um, book dedicated to um, the Animal Adventure series. I don't have that, but I will at some point get that. Um, but that's an impressive starter set. You know, if you were given that, that would be a nice introduction to role playing. Um, if you're an experienced role player, you could probably just pick this up, run with it, and you probably enjoy it. I mean, you know, it, it's uh, I, the adventure is not going to be overly sophisticated, but it's going to be fun. Uh, it's going to be enjoyable because you'd be playing um, sort of an anthropomorphic um, animals uh, facing the sort of dangers that your uh, normal characters would. You know, your elves and dwarves and half orcs and so on. Um, but that's the Animal Adventures starter set. I will review that in due course because I do enjoy a good starter set and that comes very impressively packaged, um, the contents. And just to show you, uh, I'm gonna show you basically you get a good look at the miniatures on the back. Um, but, uh, in the meantime, um, thank you very much for watching another unboxing look. If you've enjoyed this, please click the like button any comments or feedback then I do take the time to read those and if you want to be notified of me being out, out, out here again talking about another game I am unboxing then please do subscribe. Again thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with another unboxing in the nook. Bye for now.